Hello, everyone, and welcome to Foo for Thought Fight Bites. Oh, man. This is going to be a uh, brand new series that we're doing where I, Sean, the host, interview a number of people from numerous walks of life nice. about certain fight scenes in Kung Fu Cinema. I am here with Joey Min, who is the founder, director, <laughs> oh, gosh. Fight choreographer, writer, editor yeah. <laughs> of Art School Dropouts. <laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? <laughs> Glad to be here. <laughs> yeah, it's wonderful. Thank you so much for doing this. Really, really appreciate oh, it. Wonderful. And today we're going to be talking about, in my opinion, what is possibly one of the best fight scenes of all time. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I definitely, definitely. That is uh, Lung Ka Yan, a.k.a. Beardy, against Wilson Tong from Samo Hung's The Victim. Oh, man. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Been a while for this one? Yeah, actually, it's kind of funny, because I know I, I animated this for our channel. Well, the the other fights, but yeah, The, the Victim is this. I just love, like, Samo's choreography, you know what I mean? It's... The uh, possibly the peak of his choreography for me, his old school stuff, uh, not not kind of buying into or not considering mm -hmm. his ninety or even eighty stuff. What year yeah. was this? This might have been 1980, actually. Seventy nine, eighty. I think it was like seventy eight, right? Oh, really? I, th I, I think they're so. all around there. Yeah, all the classics are around seventy eight right. to eighty. Um, yeah. So I I had, an, I had an interesting thought when watching this fight scene. Mm. And do you think that style of choreography? Can still translate to modern cinema. If we if we did that, or someone, you, right. whoever it may be, right. did a film, a feature length film with that style of choreography, do you think an audience is buying into it? Because because the thing is, okay, so I I thought about something like this like a long time ago, like about uh, just just the whole concept of everything, right? That I think that um, to get away with with full shapes like kung fu shapes mm -hmm. in western cinema like it's almost because i think i feel like the western audience already looks at it as like something very cartoonish so the story itself has to like revolve around it and i think that's the right. way and i think that's why sometimes our stuff kind of gets away with it because our shit is already goofy right can I, <laughs> okay. I can say shit right <laughs> so, well, say whatever you want all right, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah like I, I think our shit is already goofy so like when people see it it's like it it's believable like you know like oh them doing these animal styles and you know close-ups right. on the feet like doing boot work that are like you know like silly stances almost right yeah because if you think about it like um what was it uh chang chi yep like superhero film i mean you could kind of almost believe it's still kind of right pretty, right right but i think even like because like if you watch the raid even though you know it's like uh salat or something yeah sometimes sometimes it looks goofy in, oh, 100%. In the, in the context of what's happening, right? Yeah. It's like a slasher film, but then, you know, it's like, and they do like the, the lots, swimming arms. Lots of hand waving. Oh, my God. Lots of hand waving. Then it's like, one. I can't take it seriously. Right? Yeah, I, I kind of get that. And I'm, I'm always fascinated by the people that, like, I can only talk for myself and martial arts cinema fans mm -hmm. who watch something like The Victim and watch the, the, like a fight scene like this and go, Fucking hell, that was the best thing I've ever seen. It blew right. me away. And then you have a whole segment of people that watch it and go, this is the dumbest shit I've ever seen. Oh, yeah. And I'm so interested in what separates those people. Why do some people see it as fantastic and other people see it as like goofy nonsense? Right. I don't know. Because like, I remember, because I know my dad used to say that he he thinks like the Kung Fu movies are like goofy, right? Right, right. But the thing is like my mom's side family, they're like all martial artists, right? Okay, yeah. So... I don't know. I mean, my dad's like, oh, that's goofy. But my mom could like, like you know, train an iron body and shit like that. So like, so I'm sure like dating her was it was hell, right? Right. So I remember, but so I think it's, it, I guess it's like the, I think we're enthralled by by um, the martial arts itself, and we're like deep into it. So I think we can really accept the you know what they're doing and actually make believe that that world it, it, it's like, you know, like possible. But right. now nowadays it's like I think that since Everyone, at least a good amount of people in the world, have like access to watching like you know one or or UFC, and they already have like this library of knowledge of what works and it doesn't work, yes. or something that they see. Oh, that's reality, right? And like and they oh, want that. You think going? Yeah, to go I, forward, they want because like there's not a. It's hard to suspend your belief now when you see like you know like styles like oh like Muay Thai, you know, like that's very effective, or yeah. or judo, or, or you know whatever. And um, even though you know somebody might do like. Um, Kung Fu as, as Sanda in, in, in um, one championships but yeah. but it still looks very much like 
like uh like Muay Thai, right? So people don't really see that, you know. They see like this is like fi- like super highly exaggerated, but you know, like I think that's why it's so hard for people to believe. Like it's kind of like the idea of John Wick, right? Like you know how people before they would have like the the teacup grip or like the grip where they're giving yeah, you yeah. like this, right? And people are like, "Oh, that's silly," but they don't really they, they don't understand like the the way that when you hold pistols like this, right? That's like from World War One. That's like from the grandfather of SWAT tactics, right? Right, okay. and the teacup grip is because of like you know, um, like revolvers, right? So, but now everybody's you know, John Wick, everything's it's a old, car stance, every, tactical, yeah. Every, so now it's like, like you don't, you don't know what, you don't know anything. So just like, just because like John Wick, you know what I mean? Like, so it's just a library of knowledge. That's I feel like. super interesting. So it's it's almost like uh, like old school people. I think mm-hmm. people that grew up on old school kung fu films, yes buy into the old school stuff because it was maybe part of their youth or whatever it may be and then kind of let's call them the youth of today are buying more into the john wick stuff and it's kind of like their version of what we grew up with right it was a sean brothers golden harvest and now they're like oh this john wick stuff or whatever it may be baby assassins yeah because like you wouldn't know what if like yeah like you know what if in the future like i don't know the the human body changes so it adapts (laughs) right right? yeah because like i said world war one the grandfather or so i taught that whole hold your wrist type of thing and weaver stance and stuff like that you don't see that anymore right right everything has to be like central axis relock and everybody has to like peek around corner switch you know because like it, it's the idea of i guess with with martial arts and fighting it's like sports science right like you know you can't beat a jab like a jab is the fastest most you know efficient move that the human body could do right yeah because that's just how we're built but you know what if we're like you know like in Wally, where like you know a thousand years we're all like just in a wheel like automatic <laughs> wheel no fighting right? it doesn't exist It'll be a different style yeah <laughs> so my question I have to ask yes. obviously I've got two questions yes so one is the obvious one is Sammo Hung the best to have ever done it in terms of choreography and then my other one is if he is the best to do it, or even if he isn't the best what's his finest era dang so definitely because I have two idols like honestly it's I think it's, I know the other one but go on Sammo and Lau Kar Lam, right. Yep. Definitely, that the, it's just like their style is very. It hits hard. It's still very. It's still very martial artsy, but it's a very combative looking style of of kung fu that yeah. you could you know on, on film. Um, and definitely during yeah during the seventies, I my my one of my fight bibles that I live by is Magnificent Butcher. Like every my favorite kung fu film, yeah, it's my all time favorite. Every fight scene in there, it's like like weapons to just yeah. handle it, like it. That's it what it I features my favorite fight scene, which is Yun Biao against Lam Cheng Ying with the fan. Oh, with the, the elbow blades. The elbow blades. Oh my god, it's, it's incredible. I love like, that stuff. And and, and it's so because like even back then they were already innovative in 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 the creativity of the fight scene, mm-hmm. right? But the way that Samo films it, the way that he sees angles, the way that his shot progression, right, camera movement, it's like it's even hard to like emulate that now simply because like those people uh it's because like that era it's like people were talented to do the physical stuff yeah so not only were they talented in front of the camera the people behind the camera were also trying something new yeah because now you know obviously it's it's a sometimes the it's hard to find the right people to come together simply because it takes a lot of money takes a lot of time it takes a lot of effort right right special people because like um yeah, I, I I don't even know how what's a modern day equivalent to to shapes, if that makes any sense. I don't think it exists right now. Right? Would I mean would would John Wick like would his movements like the 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 small man jujitsu and stuff like that? Would you consider that shapes? Because like In, uh, somebody that's like isn't like isn't Keanu Reeves like six four or something? Yeah, oh yeah, he's a big and dude. he's doing like small man jujitsu. Like he's doing like that's true wiper like moves. Like holy crap, dude. You could just grab them. You're like six four, just reach, <laughs> just like you know, you know. That's yeah, it's. I think it's interesting how I got with shapes. I just for me, there's just something in the rhythm, right? And you don't see that anymore. There's no, there's no rhythm in martial arts film, modern like John Wick style right. stuff. But here we go, though. What can you can you add that rhythm of shapes to other traditional styles of martial arts? You feel like that's interesting. Right? I'd, I'd love to see it because I'm still trying to do it like with Steph. Mm-hmm. Right, like you know, um, even Ange with her sports karate, like just to even apply that, right? And uh, you know, like um, now, like my thing is like I've, I've been practicing judo, and I'm trying to under like, like see how to do a judo fight scene, like how a judoka would see a fight scene. Yeah, but I feel like I don't have that much experience yet. Okay, Kung Fu, definitely, I know, but like you know, like competing and just fighting, dude, it, it's it's a different feeling, like how they, you know, uh, sabaki and 
the changing the grip, slapping the grip away. Like it's it's a totally different style, but I feel like you could modernize that and and. I think I think I think shapes will make a return at some point in some some way, shape, or form. I think, so. I think there's there's more these days. More people are dipping into the old school stuff. More independent people, I think, on YouTube and things like that. Mm -hmm. But I think it is making a comeback to to a degree. Right. Um, I have a, I have a question about Beardy. Yes, so, absolute legend. Of course. Apparently, not a martial artist. Never never did martial arts. He's mm -hmm. based in dance. I think his yeah. background was, but could do. 30 40 movies uh, movies moves in a row right how hard is it to find someone that can do that that is very hard is that just like a unique like genius yeah. level talent no no i i think it's more of um it's definitely there cuz the way that i choreograph i know there is um there is a dance there there is like a beat or at least yeah. how i would explain to people like um uh like Ange oh no actually Ange and Steph are <laughs> My uh shoot, I don't want to like it, it's it's hard. Like if I could explain to them the beat, they they kind of understand. I know for me, I can remember like three hundred moves, right? Like I mean, okay. since I choreograph everything, so what yes. I teach them, right? So, but um, I know specifically like certain beats, it might be harder for them to remember. But you know, I think at max they could do like seven to ten, right? Like, okay, remember that stuff, right? Um, but but to be consistent with it. Right, you know, obviously it, it is kind of hard, but I dancers I've I I've choreographed for dancers before. Okay, yeah, that don't know martial arts, but they understand, you know, like hitting the movements. Right? How many and, Chris Evans could do that? The Captain America. Oh, right, he's based in tap dancing, but apparently he could remember just a, he walked onto set. They showed him the choreography once, and he could just oh. nail it. That's right. I think that's what it is too. Like if you learn dance, right? Because I I was forced to learn dance to learn how to do martial arts oh that's interesting it's yeah I, I that's one of those things really yeah i i <laughs> i love that that's like a tidbit about beardy that he just is this guy right. who's just unique and, and he's crisp yeah that's the thing too like his movements are crisp it's not just like strong too he always looks yeah. so strong yeah in this one he looks so strong he's flexing everything dude yeah you know i i that yeah that's an error that's like i don't know i don't know if we'll ever see that again maybe not maybe not and i you know samo's I, I can't see samo going back to that well and doing. i think his time unfortunately has passed i don't see him doing anything like that in the future right um it would be great to see it but I it. well i mean you know something remember how like i think there was like an article where like jackie chan was trying to find a new jackie but yeah i just don't it's not the it's not the culture anymore in the world like it's, it's no a lot easier to kind of I guess the same thing with like like you know like with music you know how like uh, in um, especially in Asia like the the idols or something right? right it's a lot easier to just take like pretty looking kids you know give them something a little bit than have everything else is prepared for them yeah because it's a big conglomerate rather than like one skill set right like so that's the thing too that's why I, I know I, I have a hard time doing our fight scenes you know like yeah I I I think. Um... Samo did something similar where he was looking for like a, a essentially I think he called it a disciple. This is maybe like ten years ago, and he found um, Eddie Peng. Do you know Eddie? Oh, Peng? really? That's yeah. his disciple. Yeah, but the thing is, he said, "This is my disciple." He was in Rise of the Legend, the right. Koryun film, mm -hmm. and then he was in a bunch of other films that had nothing to do with Samo, had no martial arts in it, right. and he's just kind of fallen off. But Samo started filming a brand new Lucky Stars film. Uh, a few years ago, before the pandemic. Uh -huh. And the pandemic hit, and he lost all finances. And apparently, yeah. according to sources online, he filmed about 25% of it. And then it just, nothing else. And I think Eddie Peng was in it. And I think Samo may have even thrown some fight scenes in it and could have gone back to his old 80s style, obviously mm -hmm. not his shape stuff. But yeah, it was it's never going to see the light of day. Don't you, why don't you think he would, like, he could he could definitely direct and corner that, like, what? It's no, the same with Jackie, though. Jackie's got this very distinct style. He could make anyone look like a star, but he keeps his style to himself. Really? Do you, you think, think so? so? Who, I... do, who does he direct that looks like him? I mean, because like no one can move like him. That's what I'm saying. Oh, you think Jackie is unique to Jackie? Yeah, like remember the whole Twins Effect era, oh, yeah. where he like he. That's true. I, I get it. It's like during the whole Hong Kong Hanover stuff, but like he, they got some good stuff. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. yeah, the fight scene with um the twins and I think it was the twins with um Donnie and sister. Yeah, Christian. Yeah, dude, that that was shot really well. I mean, it was you know, 
Yeah, he did. He did some good stuff. I would. I'd love to see like Jackie one day go behind the camera. Maybe stay behind the camera. Yeah. He's getting on a bit. Yeah. But uh, maybe do some uh, some directing. But uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and wrap it up here. I hope everyone enjoyed this. Hopefully, we're going to do a series of these. I'd love to have you on Please. in the future more times. Uh, let's be honest, we could probably sit here and talk about Kung Fu films for Definitely. hours. Um, but yeah, this is the first in a series of Fight Bites. You can expect more in the future guests hopefully i can get a bunch of people on I and mean, we're also going to see devon and cyrus from the podcast and uh before we go promote yourself what do you have out yeah. there joey min from art school dropouts check it out uh, check us out on all of our socials art school dropouts we are uh, uh independent film group and we're just trying to do like some modern day martial arts uh you know feel good comedy action so check us out please it's awesome stuff awesome awesome stuff uh you can find a list of my social media and everything in the description of this video uh thank you everyone for watching and we will catch you next time <laughs>